Um, have the prayer for thankfulness. Um, with what I get. Things above. Five. It is a dangerous moment to assume excess the Holy Spirit is frivolous or permanent. Frivolous or permanent. Or treasure his presence today. His presence keeps you soft towards him. His presence keeps you hungry and thirsty. When you do not pursue his presence, the danger of becoming callous and hardened is very real. Minister once told me, I never dreamed I'd get this far from God. As I looked at him, I was shocked. His soul is love pouring through my heart many years before. But he had offended the Holy Spirit over and over again. Now the Holy Spirit had withdrawn from him, and he lost his hunger to thirst for presence for God. When you're troubled in your spirit, thank God for being, for, I mean, thank God for such a troubling. Millions have ignored him that the fire of desire has died out. Only ashes remain. Six, there are seasons for repentance provided with the Holy Spirit. Jesus wept over Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that killest the prophets and stonest them that are sent to thee. How would I have gathered my children together, even as the hen gathered her chicken in her wings? And ye would not, Matthew twenty three thirty seven seven. The presence of God yesterday does not guarantee the presence of God tomorrow. Look at what happened to Saul. He had known the anointing. God selected him. God touched his life, and the prophet, and the prophet of God anointed him. Yet the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and the evil spirit of the Lord troubled him. One Samuel sixteen fourteen. He died the death of a fool. So prayer for the miracle. I already, you know, said thank you, and you know. would be um to let's see Prayer for a miracle would be to have a lot of visions. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I endure thee, enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me, console me. Tell me what I should do. Give me thy orders. I promise to submit myself to all the desire of me and accept all that permit to happen to me. Let me only know thy will. Amen. Another beautiful one as follows. Holy Spirit, make me see everything and show me the way to reach my ideal. Thou who have the gift Give to divine gift to forgive and forget what is wrong done to me. Who are all instances of my life with me. In this short dialogue, I want to thank thee for everything. Confirm once more, I never want to be separated from thee. No matter how great the material desire may be. I want to be with thee and thy loved ones in perpetual glory. Amen. Chaplet, how to pray the Holy Spirit. Act of contrition. I couldn't remember until I said that. Oh my God, I have heartily sorrowly for offended thee. Um, I detest all my sins, my sins, because I have just punishment, but most often, uh, most because they offend thee, O oh God, who are all good, deserving of my love. I test all my sins because I have just punishment, but most often they offend thee, my God, who are all good and deserving of my love. I firmly resolve with the help of the grace, sin no more, and avoid the occasion of sin. Okay. Come, Holy Spirit. I'm trying to go through lady number 11. Amina, Tamina, Ida, Rosita, Hallelujah, Andalelujah, Pondalelujah. Hallelujah. Nina Nuna. Huda la Sudala. Amen. You can't do it. <laughs> wow. I was praying the Holy Spirit a lot. Amana Shikanya. Dalana Nanya. Huda la Lanya. Amana Nanya. Salana Nanya. Huda la Fanya. Ananana, Hallelujah, Andalelujah, Pondalelujah, Hallelujah, 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 Hall
Lepanya, Amen Ananya, Hallelujah, Ide de lo, si de lo, Andale, Pandale, Candale, Tandale, Handale, Handale, Pandale, Bandale, Sandale, Dandale, Hallelujah, Andale, Fandale, Sandale, Candale, Nandale, Tandale, Hallelujah, Andale, Fandale, Candale, Igame, Sigame, Tigame, Tigame. Laga me, sago me, pago me, pago me. Amane shikanya, nandane dranya, panane sananya. Hallelujah, amane niña, hallelujah. Hallelujah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. hallelujah. Ana paninya, palana shika, hallelujah. Dios Padre, ígame, sígame, mi ni, ma ni, ga ni ni, ura la nu, ya la ni. Try not to talk on the Holy Spirit, see if it's real. Ma na shi ga ni, fa na 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 ni, ha la la ni, mm, ura la na ni. Let's see, let's check, let's try not to talk and see if it does it again. Mm. Do the la canya. Ankama na si de la lor. Hallelujah. Andale. Hallelujah. Fondale. Do the la 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 la. Pa la la la. Hallelujah. Ika me, ika me. Anyways, the um, properties of hair and scalp. The scientific study of hair and disease and care is called. I think that's trigonology. So that's 11. Number one is B, trigonology. The scientific study of hair and disease and care is called trigonology. I'll just give myself through the questions to not fix my hair that good, but when I do the book, fix my hair good. Probably be good, yeah. The two parts of mature strand of human hair are the hair shaft, hair follicle. Let's see. 11, 2 is C, hair shaft and hair. Two parts of the mature strands of hair are the hair shaft and hair. Two parts of the mature strands of hair are hair shaft and hair. Tube-like depression or pocket in the skin or scalp that contains the hair root is the, I guess it's the follicle, three is A, is the follicle, I remember it. The tube-like depression or pocket skin or in the scalp that contains the hair root is the follicle. Hair follicles are not found on the blank. 11 is for C, soles of the feet. Hair follicles are not found on the soles of the feet. The blank is a tiny involuntary muscle at the back of the hair follicle. A rectopili? Five. Eleven five is B. The rectopili is a tiny, a tiny voluntary muscle in the back of the hair follicle. An olive substance secreted by sebaceous gland is sebum. I know that one, but let me just check make sure. Yes. For chemicals to penetrate a healthy cuticle hair layer, they must have to... I'd say have an alkaline pH. Let's see, 7 out of 11 is C. Yes, have an alkaline pH. For chemicals to penetrate healthy hair, cuticle hair, they must have an alkaline pH. The medulla is composed of blank cells. I would say round. The medulla, the medulla rod shape? I don't know. 8 is B. Round. Okay. The medulla is composed of round cells. The medulla is composed of round cells. The process by where living cells mature and begin their journey in the hair shaft is called, I'd say, antigen. 11, 9 is, oh, it's keratinization. Process by which living cells mature and begin their journey up the hair shaft is keratinization. I wonder where I'm going here. Okay. 
This has got like 60 questions. Why? The five main elements that make up chemical composition of hair are carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen, and I would say keratin and selenium, but I'm not sure. 10 is D. Oh, it's protein bond. Oh, no. It's nitrogen and sulfur? No way. 11, 10 is D. Yes. Five million elements that make up chemical composition of hair are carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and sulfur. The chemical bonds that hold together amino acids molecules are um, B, peptide bonds. The chemical bonds that hold together amino acids molecules are peptide bonds. Which type of melanin provides natural colors ranging from red and ginger yellow to, to blonde tones? I'd say polymelanin. 12 is... Oh, femelanin. See, I knew it was something with a P, but I wasn't looking at both the P's. I just seen the first P and picked it. Which of the melanin provides natural colors ranging from red to ginger to yellow blondes? Femelanin. Asians tend to have, I'd say... Extremely straight hair, but I don't know. 13 is A. Yes, extremely straight hair. Asians have extremely straight hair. To help minimize tangles and extremely curly hair when washing, you should... A, do a detangling rinse. Hmm. To help minimize tangle and extremely curly hair when washing, you should do a detangling rinse. Hair texture is classified as, I would say, coarse, medium, or fine. Let's see, 15 is B. Yes, hair texture is defined, classified as coarse, medium, or fine. The measurement of individual hair strands on 1 inch, 2.5 square centimeters of the scalp is, I'd say, the density. 16 is A, hair density. Measurement of individual hair strands, 1 square inch, 2.5 square meter of scalp is hair density. Compared to the hair with high porosity, chemical services formed on hair with low porosity require a solution that is... I would say more alkaline. 17 is D, which is right, because when it's high porosity, you don't need more. Compared to high porosity, chemical surface with hair with low porosity require more alkaline. Wet hair with normal elasticity stretch up to blank um, of its original length. 18 is 50%. Wet hair with normal elasticity stretch up to 50% of its original length. Oily scalp and hair can be treated by properly washing it. I would say with normalizing shampoo. 19 is B. With normalizing shampoo. Oily scalp and hair can be treated and properly washed with normally normalizing shampoo. Which of the type of hair almost has never a medulla? I guess velus. 20 is D. Velus. Velus never has a medulla. The growth phase which new hairs produce is anagen. Let's see if that's right. 21 is C. Antigen. I wonder why that one other one said something like care. The process by which living cells mature and begin their journey up the hair shaft is keratinization. And the, the beginning stage of the hair is antigen. The average growth of healthy scalp is... I don't know. 22 is... 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters per month. 23. The technical term used to describe gray hair is, I'd say, tinea, but no, can I don't know. 23 is A. Canities. The technical term used to describe gray hair is canities. A condition of abnormal hair growth on areas of the body is, I'd say, trichuresis. I don't know. 24 is C. Oh, hypertrichosis. I thought that too. A condition of abnormal hair growth in areas of the body is hypertrichosis. The medical term for dandruff is 25B. P. 
Psoriasis. Medical term for dandruff is pediasis. The body can produce up to 11 of the 20 amino acids that make up hair. I think that's the right answer. 26. Yeah, the body can produce 11 out of the 20 amino acids that make up hair. Salt bonds account for blank of the hair's overall strength. It says one third, I don't know, 27 is C. One third, salt bonds account for one third of the hair's overall strength. The antigen phase generally lasts more than three to five. I'd say weeks, but I don't know. 28 is D. Years, what? 11, 28 is years. Antigen phase usually lasts for three to five years. Scalp hair grows blank on women than men. I'd say thicker, I don't know, 29 is B, faster. Scalp hair grows faster on women than men. Scalp hair grows faster on women than men. Okay, the blank Phase signals the end of the growth phase. I guess it's catagen. 30 is catagen. The catagen phase signals the end of the growth phase. Scalp massage blanks hair growth. I think increases. 31 is C. Does not affect. Okay. Scalp massage does not affect hair growth. Scalp massage does not affect hair growth. Compared to pigmented hair, gray hair is... 32A, neither coarser or nor more resistant. Compared to pigmented hair, gray hair is neither coarser nor more resistant. Compared to pigmented hair, gray hair is neither coarser nor more resistant. Cross sections of hair are 33D, can be almost any shape. Cross sections of hair can be almost any shape. Bald men are commonly perceived as... 34, let's see, it says less successful, I don't know why. <laughs> By the age of 35, almost blank percent of both men and women show some degrees of hair loss. 35 is C. By the age 35, almost 40% of both men, women and men show some degree of hair loss. Finasteride is an oral prescription of medication for hair loss that is meant for... Men only. Finasteride is an oral prescription medication for hair loss that is meant for men only. Finasteride is an oral prescription medication for hair loss that is meant for men only. Cogenal canites manifest in at or before birth. Cogenal canites manifest at or before birth. Cogenal canites manifest at or before birth. Dandruff can be easy mistaken for... 38 is dry scalp. Dandruff can be easily mistaken for dry scalp. Dandruff is believed caused by fungus. Dandruff is believed caused by fungus. The most frequently encountered fungal infection resulting from hair is 40 is Tinea barbae. The most frequently encountered fungal infection resulting from hair is Tinea barbae. Tinea is characterized by itching. Tinea is characterized by itching. The infestation of hair and scalp with head lice is called, I think it's Pedilus capitis. I don't know, 42 is C. Pedilus capitis. Fascination of hair and scalp hair loss is called pediaculus capitis. A carbonicle is a small to a fernicle, but it is much 
43 larger carbonicle is similar to a furnicle but it's much larger carbonicle is similar to a furnicle but it's much larger fine hair is blank than coarse or medium hair I would say more f I don't know 44 is D more fragile than coarse or medium hair fine hair is more fragile than coarse medium hair coarse hair is stronger than fine hair. Coarse hair is stronger than fine hair. Hmm. Coarse hair is stronger than fine hair. The blank is the outermost layer of the hair. I'd say hair cuticle or follicle. I don't know which one it is. 46. I'm really bad at those two. Hair cuticle. It's the first one I thought. The hair cuticle is the outermost layer of the hair. Hair cuticle is the outermost layer of the hair. The oil glands of the skin are connected to the hair follicles or blank glands. I guess subbaceous 47 is C. Subbaceous. The oil glands in the skin are connected to the hair follicles or subbaceous glands. Let's ask the Holy Spirit to help me through the rest of this book. Give me a simple blessing and guidance. That will give me peace to read the rest of this book. Um, either it's outly or innerly. Praise you. Um, we praise you, Lord. And we want you to give me guidance through this and make it through. Um, probably not a good time to speak in it. <laughs> Anyways, but anyways, I'm trying and I'm trying to figure out what's going on in my mind and why I'm so weird. Okay, 48. A hydrogen bond is physically broken by heat or water. A hydrogen bond is physically broken by heat or water. Hair is approximately blank percent of protein. Um, 49 is D. Hair is approximately 90% of protein. Hair is approximately 90% of protein. Total scalp hair loss is known as total scalp hair loss is known as uh, fifty alopecia tolius. Total scalp hair loss is known as alopecia tolius. Total scalp hair loss is known as alopecia tolius. Hypertrichosis is also known as um. Hirsutes. Hypertrichosis is also known as hirsutes. Hypertrichosis is also known as hirsutes. The natural occurring of fungus that can cause a symptom of danger when it grows out of control is, I think it's malazizia, I'm not sure. 52 is C, malazizia. The natural occurring of fungus caused by symptoms of danger when it grows out of control is malazizia. The blank is the lowest part of the hair strand. 53 is B. The hair bulb is the lowest part of the hair strand. The hair bulb is the lowest part of the hair strand. Okay, the technical term for beaded hair is 54 is monolithrix. The technical term for beaded hair is monolithrix. Technical term for beaded hair is monolithrix, a highly contagious skin caused by a parasite called a mite that burrows under the skin is, I think scabies? I don't know. Yes, scabies is a highly contagious skin caused by a parasite cause, called a mite that burrows under the skin. The term for spiral shape or coiled protein is helix. The term for spiral shape or coiled protein is helix. The term for spiral shape or coiled protein is helix. Shaving, clipping, and cutting hair on the head has no effects on the hair growth. Shaving, clipping, and cutting hair on the head has no effects of hair growth. Okay, dry sulfur, yellow cup-like crust on the scalp are called, I'd say Tina Barbe, 58. Oh, it's Scotula. Hmm, that's weird. Dry Sulfur yellow cup like crest and scalp are called scotula. Scotula, dry sulfur cup like crest and scalp. 
The blank are a part of the inventory system. I'd say hair, skin, and nails. That's 59, which is the hair, skin, and nails in the inventory system. Long, coarse, pigmented hair found in the scalp, legs, arms, and bodies of males and females is... Sixty terminal hair. Long coarse pigmented hair found in the scalp, legs, hairs, and bodies of males and females is terminal hair. The technical term for knotted hair is trichorosius nodosa. The technical term for knotted hair is trichosius nodosa. Technical term for knotted hair is trichosius nodosia. Sixty two. The blank is the innermost layer of the hair. I'd say the medulla. 62 is C. The medulla is the innermost layer of the hair. The hair that forms in a circular pattern on the crown of the hand is known as, I think it's a cowlick or a whorl. I don't know. 63 is D, a whorl. Hair that forms in a circular pattern on the crown of the head is a whorl. Hair that forms in a circular pattern on the crown of the head is a whorl. Wait, two minutes, 30 minutes to do this video. The part of the hair located below the surface of the epidermis is, I guess, hair root. I don't know, 64 is A, hair root, yes. The part of the hair located below the surface of the epidermis is hair root. A tuft on the hair strands that stands straight up is cowlick. Let's see if that's right. 65 is D, cowlick. Tuft of the hair that stands straight up is cowlick. The ability of the hair to absorb moisture is called, I think, hair porosity. That's 66 is hair porosity. The middle layer of the hair is the cortex. The middle layer of the hair is the cortex. Okay, I almost thought I was done. An immune disorder that causes affected hair follicles to be mistakenly attacked by a person's own immune system is alopecia aurea. An immune disorder that causes affects the hair follicles to be mistakenly attacked by a person's own autoimmune system is alopecia aurea. Alopecia aurea causes hair follicles mistakenly attacked by a person's immune system. Immune disorder. Valus hair is also known as lanugo hair. I think that's what it is. Yes, valus hair is also known as lanugo hair. Medical term for ringworm, ringworm is tinea. Yes, medical term for ringworm is tinea. Now I'm going to be on chapter 12. So... I read some of the AA book. We have all tried every imaginable recovery. In some instances, there has been brief recovery, followed all of by still worse relapse. Physicians who are familiar with alcoholism agree there is no such thing as making a normal drinker out of an alcoholic, since May one day accomplishes, but it hasn't done so yet. Despite all we can say, who are real alcoholics are not going to believe that they are in class. By a form of every self-deception of experimentation, they will try to prove themselves exceptions to the rule. Therefore, non-alcoholic, if anyone is showing inability to control drinking, can do the right about face and drink like a gentleman with their hats off to him, heaven knows we have tried enough long drink like other people. Here are some methods we have tried. Drinking beer only limited the numbers of drinks. Never drink alone, never drink in the morning, drinking only at home, never having it in the house, never drinking in the business hours, drinking only at parties, switching from scotch to brandy, drinking only natural wines, agreeing to resign if drunk on the job, taking a trip, not taking a trip, swearing off forever, with or without a solemn oath, taking more physical exercise, reading inspirational books, going to health farms, sanatoriums, accepting voluntary commitments, asylums, would increase the list of ad infinitum would we do not like to pronounce any individuals as alcoholic but you can quickly diagnose yourself step over the nearest bar room and try some controlled drinking and try to drink and stop abruptly try it more than once let's just pray for all the alcoholics to get better and um hmm
and God to be with me on my journey from school in the Lord. Um, everybody have a blessed day.